So this is what I call old reliable. This is my Prodigy V2. I love this thing. See, I originally bought it so that I can do tricks with it, but I realized that it's actually a lot more funner to just ride it, you know, just cruise. Like, it's doing tricks, you get all sweaty, you get all crazy, and uh, I don't know, you just kind of flip around, you get, you put yourself in danger sometimes, and uh, you know, I just like cruising. It's smoother, it's nicer, it's calming, I can listen to my music and relax, you know? So I've been noticing recently a lot of people have been getting, like, riding electric scooters, like kick bikes and shit, like, I don't fucking get that shit, right? Because why, like, lose the enjoyment of an actual fucking scooter that you could scoot and get a fucking electric one that you just kind of turn on and then you go, you know? I get the appeal of it, it's easy, but like, bro, at that point, it's not even a scooter, it just looks like a scooter, you know? Like, a scooter, you fucking scoot. Yeah, here it is, dude. My favorite part of the day is coming and chilling up against this awesome tree right here. So you might call me crazy or stupid or weird for giving a tree a name, but I have done that. It's pretty insane, dude. Ugh. Of course, right as I say that, there's people walking right by. <laughs> so yes, I was not lying. I did indeed name this tree, and I named it Gargamel because, like, eight or nine years ago there was this minecraft seed on xbox 360 called gargamel and it was this like really amplified mountainous seed that looked really pretty and i just somehow remembered it after almost 10 years of knowing of its uh, of knowing of its existence i just gave the tree the name and that's where it came from there's actually a song that comes with it uh that i wrote about this tree and uh, you can find it on youtube under my secondary alias lkic which stands for lk indie collection and lk stands for Lizard Kid. Um, yeah, I don't know. I <laughs> just came up with it. It's a very, very special song that I think anybody would really like if you just gave it a decent listen. Um, it is my vocals. I'm not trying to take credit for somebody else's work. I promise. It's fucking me. So don't try to file copyright on me and try to make money off of it because you won't. <laughs> it has like five views on YouTube, man. Now you might say I'm a pretty odd individual. I'm wearing some Bubble Bee socks. And uh, these are just bands, man. I think, actually, I haven't really gotten a good look at the design on these. Um, it looks like pancakes, something like that. There's like pancakes, and then, I'm not sure what this is. And then that looks like some kind of drink. Yeah, there's like food and shit, man. I, had, <laughs> I just buy socks, and then I don't really like pay attention or like even bother looking at what it is. <laughs> I just kind of buy it. Like, I bought these golfing socks from a van store down in Ocean Beach, and I didn't even know they were golfing. They just looked really nice. I literally just sat down one day and I was like, oh my fucking God, I bought golfing socks. <laughs> and uh, these shoes are literally just my work shoes. Like sometimes I like going out in these cause they're really big and bulky. And uh, especially on these like brighter socks like these, you can really like, it's, I don't know, I really can't explain it. It's got a nice little style to it. I don't know why I haven't done this already, but I like putting my hair out like this because this side is actually shaved right here, which is a pain in the ass when I'm at work because uh, I have to put it up in a, in a ponytail, basically. Because I'm a cashier at McDonald's and I have to put my hair up in a hair tie um, because that's just safety regulations, bro. And if I don't do that, then guess what? I'm fired. But then on top of that, of course, I have to wear that annoying ass headset that makes your fucking ears hurt after about like an hour of wearing it. And then also the masks, of course. Um, we used to have to wear these like really terrible plastic gloves but i don't know like a cut like a week ago they were just like they literally came up to me like dude you don't have to wear that anymore and i was like fuck yeah because like every time you took them off like to get on your break or whatever like your hands would always be sweaty as hell and you're just wow it finally came this is my gimbal dude so i bought this a couple days ago and i'm really excited with the way that it turned out but i haven't been able to get a chance to use it yet now another really awesome thing that came in today is i got some brand new stickers i ordered two of these awesome kids crash stickers which if you don't no, I am Kiz Crash. DJ Kizzy is short for Kiz Crash. And this is my musical alias. I make dubstep and a lot of trap music. And uh, well, this website called Redbubble is really, really cool. I'm not sponsored by them, but check this shit out. So Redbubble is basically a website where you could upload designs
designs that you've created and they'll put them on stickers, t-shirts, really anything. And it's just so fucking cool, man. And I was able to fortunately be able to create my own designs and upload them and put them on stickers. I have a couple of them over here as you can see. We have this awesome little munchy monster face on a strap backpack. They have fucking coasters. They literally have shower curtains, dude. Now I actually bought two of these stickers. This one on here is going on my scooter, of course. I have to. My scooter is literally one of my favorite things in the entire planet. But then this other sticker, I'm thinking of giving to my parents because they're both really big fans of my stuff and uh, I think it'd be kind of disrespectful if I didn't give them a sticker. Or I could just put it onto this big, huge Kiss Crash head. Which, yeah, sometimes I get a little bit crafty and I made a giant Kiss Crash <laughs> box head and then I also made a little mini one who's got a bunch of little faces on him and it's kind of cool. Really dope. Now, as for this, <sighs> I have no fucking idea what I'm doing. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, I can see how it works, but I don't really know if it's that good. I don't know. Like I said, I got this for $40. Probably not the best gimbal. De no, definitely not the best gimbal, but at its price, I'd say it's decent. Um, I haven't really done too much with it, uh, but the balancing is a bit off. I don't know if that's a me problem or if that's a tripod problem, but, uh, I'm definitely gonna use this anyway as a tripod because... As you saw in my last vlog, this one back here is not suited for any kind of use anymore. It's well over 10 years, and uh, I think it's time for a switch. Now I'm thinking this other Kiss Crash sticker could probably go like right here. Now I got another one right here, which looks pretty sick. Uh, Shoutouts to my five-year-old cousin, Anapo. He's my biggest fan. Literally, like, this kid eats my shit up, and I love it. Fucking careful because I'm doing it with this with one hand. Okay, I think that's pretty dope. It's a little crooked, but fuck it. It actually looks kind of nice. Okay, so I just found this really sick design on Redbubble of Mad Decent. And if you don't know, this is like one of the bigger, like, trap promotion, like, I guess, labels, if you will. And I'm a huge fan of Mad Decent. And this design just looks good on everything, dude. I want a sticker. I want the fucking t-shirt. Um, probably not the phone case. I don't know. Uh, because I kind of like my OtterBox, not gonna fucking lie. But, dude, I think I'm getting the fucking sticker, man. But, dude, I think the only one thing that I don't like about Redbubble is the shipping is nuts, dude. Look at that. $6 shipping, dude. This is a $23 shirt. Now it's $29. I can't even fucking believe that. <laughs> Never mind, I forgot about the tax. Now it's $31.92. Fuck! Okay, so quick story time. I work at McDonald's as a cashier, so I'm taking orders in the drive-thru 24-7 because of COVID-19. People aren't allowed to be in the in the lobby and shit, so I kind of have to do, you know, cashier, like, you know, drive-thru orders and shit like that. And there was this car that pulled up, and this lady decided, hey, fuck it, let's have my little kid, like, basically take an order, right? And it was just a Happy Meal, it wasn't much, right? And this kid, <laughs> this kid was a little asshole. I was like, okay, so like, you want the four piece nugget Happy Meal? Like, um, like, do you want any sauce for your nuggets? And she's just like, no, I don't want any sauce. And I was like, okay, but like, she didn't say it like that. She said it really weird and really quickly so that she just moved on to the drink and I didn't understand, I didn't catch it. So I was like, um, okay, you want a Sprite, but like, do you want the, the, what sauce do you want for your nuggets? And she's like, I don't want any fucking sauce. She didn't say fucking, but she's like, I don't want any sauce. And she was like yelling at me. I was like, this kid's a little fucking asshole. I wasn't, I wasn't like upset or anything, but I was just like, at that point I was amazed. Like, what the fuck, dude? This kid really didn't want any sauce and he wanted me to know that. But a lot of people say that McDonald's is a really shitty job. And whenever I tell people that I do work at McDonald's, there's like, oh, pff, this guy works at fucking McDonald's. It's like. Yeah, but I mean, it's not that bad. I mean, $14 an hour isn't that bad. It could be way worse, right? I mean, $14 an hour is certainly better than like $10 an hour. It's better than $13 an hour. You know, I mean, it, it's not bad. All right, now, as I'm recording this video, I just got notified on Twitter that Getter has released a brand new song off the Some Creature EP, and it's called With No Eyes. Let's check this shit out. <laughs>
Okay, so something interesting I just found out about this. Apparently, it's labeled under YouTube Kids. What the fuck? What is kid friendly about this, bro? This is like the scariest shit. Like, this would scar kids, bro. Why is this a YouTube Kids video? Yo, so if you enjoyed the video, definitely leave a like. Uh, I worked really hard on this, and on top of that, it was very fun to make. So, uh, if you want to see more of this vlogging IRL content in the future, definitely let me know because it means a lot. And uh, more positive feedback is also always appreciated. Uh, leaving a like is appreciated. Uh, also, subscribing, of course, is appreciated because it's free and uh, it helps me out. So, it'd be awesome if you could do all of those things for me or just even one of those things. Or if you don't even want to do that, that's perfectly fucking fine. I'm going to stop with this forced positivity bullshit and uh, just get straight to the point. I love the fuck out of you if you want to support me. Yeah.